What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here in downtown Los Angeles on Los Angeles Street, just steps away from Placita de Overa. But where I also am is the former Calle de los Negros, which was once described as the most evil place on earth. Let's get into it. So even though the length of the street wasn't even 500 feet, it stretched from Arcadia to Alameda, the wickedness they said was unlimited. There were salons, gambling houses, places for prostitution, dance halls, and other places of ill repute for people to find trouble. So the Calle de los Negros was nowhere near as wide as Los Angeles Street is today. It was a narrow alleyway, just wide enough to get a wagon through on each side. And that close proximity was one of the main factors as to why it was so violent. You bump shoulders, chest with somebody, and that was an excuse to throw down. And they said that every man on Calle de los Negros in the 1840s and 50s was carrying a pistol. One notable thing about the unfortunate named alleyway was actually one of the most diverse places in frontier Los Angeles. Indigenous people, Mexican people, Californios, newly arrived Americans, Germans, French people, all congregated here. And since most of them were here for the gold rush, they had money in their pockets. And with the saloons and gambling halls and prostitution and money to burn, well, that was the equation for some real trouble. Just how many deaths on Calle de los Negros? Well, they say they averaged one murder per day. And in the 1850s, Calle de los Negros was the murder capital of the world, the place from which all wickedness on earth emanated. Wow. To stem the flow of violence, some of the people in Los Angeles formed what was called the Los Angeles Rangers, which was essentially a vigilante group which would promote justice through mob rule. But this included some of the preeminent people in frontier Los Angeles. We're talking Andres Pico, Jose Sepulveda, Phineas Banning, John Downey. And this was a group that would deliver justice their way through lynchings. Urgh. Through the 1860s, the Chinese population of Los Angeles ballooned and many of the Chinese immigrants settled right here on Calle de los Negros and they changed the complexion of the alleyway. On October 24th, 1871, Chinese rivals got in a fight over a prostitute and a white saloon keeper tried to intervene and he ended up getting shot and dying. The word spread throughout the city of Los Angeles and before dusk, a crowd of 500 and angry mob gathered around Calle de los Negros, and what happened next was unthinkable. The angry mob harassed, attacked, and killed 19 Chinese Americans, 15 by lynching, in what is now known as the largest lynching in United States history, and is known as the Chinese Massacre of 1871. The number of Chinese killed represented 10% of the Chinese population of Los Angeles at the time. This was a major incident and the police arrested eight people, convicted them of manslaughter, but their convictions were overturned and they were released. So how did the alley get this unfortunate name anyway? Well, in the 1840s, there was a ranchero named Jose Antonio Carrillo, who had been a soldier. He had been a politician. And what he did, he noticed the complexion of the people who were living on the then unnamed street. So he posted signs on the far end and the close end, Calle de los Negros, and the name stuck. Now the people who lived there complained to the mayor and Jose Antonio Carrillo was charged, but the charges were dismissed and the name remained. Now the term Negro in this context from Carrillo referred to a casta system, a caste system in New Spain. And it wasn't necessarily the pejorative version which the Americans then used stuck on their maps, including official maps for the city of Los Angeles. Disdainful. Six years later in 1877, city leaders got tired of the infamy of Calle de los Negros and wanted to erase the name from city history. So they renamed the street Los Angeles Street. And that's what it remains to this day. By 1887, the adobes were torn down and replaced by these brick buildings, but the memories of Calle de los Negros still remain. And unfortunately, that's a dark part of Los Angeles history. All right, LA, it's been a minute.